I'm looking for a table that can fit in my small kitchen. I had been scouring other garage sales all morning but hadn't found one until now. I've just found the perfect one right here. That table looks like it will fit perfectly in my studio apartment. I'll be heading over to talk to the seller about it right now. I'll be joining you, hoping we can figure out a good deal together. We might be able to negotiate a better price if we buy together. By the time we finish talking with the seller, we'll have been chatting about this table for almost half an hour. It seems like we both really like the look and feel of it. I had hoped to find a good deal today, and it seems like my wish had been granted. The seller agreed to our offer, and now we're both heading home with a great find. It's amazing to think about the journey of this table, from someone's home into mine, where it will get a second life. We've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, and finally, our effort has paid off. Yeah, I'm so glad we stumbled upon the seller who understood exactly what we were looking for. Looks like our patience really pays off in the end. Absolutely, good things come to those who wait and today proves it. By the time we get this table set up, it'll have been the best decision we made today. I'm already picturing where it'll be going in my apartment, this is such an exciting find. Agreed, it's like this table was just waiting for us to come along and give it a new home. I can't stop thinking about hosting friends around it, making memories that will last a lifetime. Relative pronouns, subjective case. Used as the subject of a relative clause, e.g., who, that. I'm looking for a table that can fit in my small kitchen. In the sentence, that is the relative pronoun in the subjective case because it refers back to a table and acts as the subject of the clause can fit in my small kitchen. Past tense, past perfect continuous. Shows a continuous action that was completed before another past action, e.g., I had been eating. I had been scouring other garage sales all morning but hadn't found one until now. The past perfect continuous tense in the sentence is, had been scouring. It indicates an action scouring garage sales, that was ongoing for a period of time before another moment, all in the past. Present tense, present perfect. Describes an action that happened at an unspecified time before now, for example, I have eaten. I've just found the perfect one right here. The present perfect tense in the sentence is I've just found, which indicates an action that was completed in the recent past and has relevance to the present moment. Types of verbs, state of verbs. Describe a state or condition rather than an action, e.g., love, own. That table looks like it will fit perfectly in my studio apartment. The state of verb in the sentence is, looks, because it describes the table's appearance or state of being rather than an action. Future tense, future continuous. Describes an action that will be ongoing at a specific time in the future, e.g., I will be eating. I'll be heading over to talk to the seller about it right now. The future continuous tense in the sentence is I'll be heading over, explaining an action, heading over to talk to the seller, that will be in progress at a specific point in the future. Verb forms, present participle. A verb form ending in ing used in continuous tenses, e.g., is running. I'll be joining you, hoping we can figure out a good deal together. The present participle in this sentence is hoping which is used to describe my ongoing or future action of looking forward to making a good deal with you while planning on joining you. Types of verbs, modal verbs. Express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability, for example, can, must. We might be able to negotiate a better price if we buy together. The modal verb in the sentence we might be able to negotiate a better price if we buy together is might which indicates possibility. Future tense, future perfect continuous. Shows an action that will continue up until a future time, e.g., I will have been eating. By the time we finish talking with the seller, 
we'll have been chatting about this table for almost half an hour. The future perfect continuous tense in the sentence is, we'll have been chatting about this table for almost half an hour, which implies that at a certain future point, when we finish talking with the seller, they will have been continuously discussing the table for a duration, half an hour. Types of verbs, sense verbs. Relate to the senses and perception, for example, see, taste. It seems like we both really like the look and feel of it. In the sentence, the sense verbs are seems and like, indicating perceptions or feelings about the quality of something. Past tense, past perfect. Expresses an action that was completed before another past action, e.g., I had eaten. I had hoped to find a good deal today, and it seems like my wish had been granted. In the sentence, I had hoped to find a good deal today, and it seems like my wish had been granted, the past perfect tense is shown through had hoped and had been granted, indicating actions or situations that were completed before another action in the past. Past tense, simple past. Expresses an action that occurred and was completed in the past, e.g., I ate. The seller agreed to our offer, and now we're both heading home with a great find. The simple past tense in the sentence is agreed, indicating that the seller accepted our offer at a specific time in the past. Relative pronouns, possessive case. Show ownership in a relative clause, e.g., whose. It's amazing to think about the journey of this table, from someone's home into mine, where it will get a second life. The possessive case relative pronoun in the sentence is whose, implied in the expression, someone's home, referring to the home belonging to someone. Present tense, present perfect continuous. Indicates an action that started in the past and continues to the present, for example, I have been eating. We've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, and finally, our effort has paid off. In the sentence, we've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, and finally, our effort has paid off, the present perfect continuous tense is we've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, indicating an action that began in the past, has continued up until the present, and may still be ongoing. Relative pronouns, objective case. Used as the object of a relative clause, e.g., whom, that. Yeah, I'm so glad we stumbled upon the seller who understood exactly what we were looking for. The relative pronoun in the objective case in the sentence is, whom, which is understood here but often omitted in casual speech, however, formally it should be, the seller whom we understood exactly what we were looking for. It relates to the seller and serves as the object of the verb understood. Present tense, simple present. Expresses a habitual action or general truth, e.g., I eat, he runs. Looks like our patience really pays off in the end. The simple present tense in the sentence is pays, which refers to a general truth that patience yields positive results in the end. Verb conjugation, regular verbs. Forms past tense and past participle by adding, ed, e.g., walk, walked. Absolutely, good things come to those who wait and today proves it. The verb conjugation of the regular verb in the sentence is, proves, and it is in the third person singular present tense, indicating an action that is currently true or happening. Future tense, future perfect. Indicates an action that will have been completed by a certain future time, e.g., I will have eaten. By the time we get this table set up, it'll have been the best decision we made today. The future perfect tense in the sentence is, it'll have been, and it is used to describe an action, deciding that setting up the table is the best decision, that will be completed before a specific time in the future, by the time we finish setting up the table. Present tense, present continuous. Indicates an action happening right now or currently ongoing, e.g., I am eating. I'm already picturing where it'll be going in my apartment. This is such an exciting find. The present continuous tense in the sentence is I'm already picturing, indicating an action, picturing something that is currently happening or ongoing. Verb forms, infinitive. The base form of a verb, often preceded by to, e.g., to eat, to sleep. Agreed, it's like this table was just waiting for us to come along and give it a new home. The infinitive verb form in the sentence is to come, which expresses the action of moving towards something in a general way, not confined by tense. 
Verb forms, gerund. A verb form ending in ing that functions as a noun, e.g., running, swimming. I can't stop thinking about hosting friends around it, making memories that will last a lifetime. The gerunds in the sentence are thinking, hosting, and making because they are verbs functioning as nouns, expressing actions like the act of thinking, the act of hosting, and the act of making. Number 1. Scouring. I've been scouring the internet for that book. After scouring the house, I found my lost keys. She spent the afternoon scouring the local markets for the perfect gift. Number 2. Fit. This dress fits you perfectly. The key doesn't fit in that lock. They managed to fit all the luggage into the trunk of the car. Number 3. Studio Apartment I live in a cozy studio apartment downtown. She is looking for a studio apartment near her office. They decorated their studio apartment very nicely. Number 4. Negotiate. We need to negotiate the terms of this contract carefully. Can we negotiate a better deal? The companies are negotiating a merger. Number 5. Chat. We chat every day after class. I had a long chat with my best friend yesterday. Let's grab coffee and chat for a while. Number 6. Journey. The journey to the top of the mountain was exhausting but rewarding. Every life journey is unique and full of unexpected turns. They shared stories of their adventurous journeys at the dinner table. Number 7. Second Life Starting a business was his second life. After retirement, she found her second life in painting. He considered his time volunteering abroad as his second life. Number 8. Stumbled Upon I stumbled upon an old friend in the city today. While hiking, we stumbled upon a beautiful hidden waterfall. Last weekend, I stumbled upon a quaint little bookshop by the countryside.
Number 9. Patience. Your patience during tough times is admirable. Learning a new language requires a lot of patience. Thank you for your patience while I finish this task. Number 10. Set up. I set up a new computer at my office. They are setting up the stage for the concert tonight. Can you help me set up the Wi-Fi router? Number 11. Exciting. The movie was incredibly exciting. I have an exciting opportunity at work. Going on a roller coaster is always exciting. Number 12. Hosting. They are hosting a party this weekend. The company is hosting a webinar next week. Our school is hosting an international conference. Number 13. Memories. This photo album is full of our childhood memories. We made great memories on our trip last year. Preserving these memories is very important to me. Number 14. Perfect. This picture is perfect for my living room. Her presentation was absolutely perfect. We had a perfect day at the beach. Number 15. Deal. We made a good deal on the car. I want a deal that benefits both parties. The company secured a deal with overseas partners. Number 16 Offer he made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Would you like to consider my offer? The company sent me a job offer today. Number 17 Find I find your perspective quite interesting. She managed to find her lost earring. We need to find a solution quickly. Number 18 Searching. I have been searching for this book for months. She is searching online for the best vacation spots. While searching for his keys, he found some old photographs. Number 19. 
Number 19. Effort. Your effort is truly admirable. He put a lot of effort into his work. Thanks to her effort, the project was a success. Number 20. Patience pays off. Hard work and patience pays off in the end. She showed great patience, and it definitely paid off. Your patience will pay off, just keep believing. I had been scouring other garage sales all morning but hadn't found one until now. That table looks like it will fit perfectly in my studio apartment. I'll be joining you, hoping we can figure out a good deal together. By the time we finish talking with the seller, we'll have been chatting about this table for almost half an hour. I had hoped to find a good deal today, and it seems like my wish had been granted. It's amazing to think about the journey of this table, from someone's home into mine, where it will get a second life. Yeah. I'm so glad we stumbled upon the seller who understood exactly what we were looking for. Absolutely, good things come to those who wait and today proves it. I'm already picturing where it'll be going in my apartment, this is such an exciting find. I can't stop thinking about hosting friends around it, making memories that will last a lifetime. I'm looking for a table that can fit in my small kitchen. I've just found the perfect one right here. I'll be heading over to talk to the seller about it right now. We might be able to negotiate a better price if we buy together. It seems like we both really like the look and feel of it. The seller agreed to our offer, and now we're both heading home with a great find. We've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, and finally, our effort has paid off. Looks like our patience really pays off in the end. By the time we get this table set up, it'll have been the best decision we made today. Agreed, it's like this table was just waiting for us to come along and give it a new home.
I'm looking for a table that can fit in my small kitchen. I had been scouring other garage sales all morning but hadn't found one until now. I've just found the perfect one right here. That table looks like it will fit perfectly in my studio apartment. I'll be heading over to talk to the seller about it right now. I'll be joining you, hoping we can figure out a good deal together. We might be able to negotiate a better price if we buy together. By the time we finish talking with the seller, we'll have been chatting about this table for almost half an hour. It seems like we both really like the look and feel of it. I had hoped to find a good deal today, and it seems like my wish had been granted. The seller agreed to our offer, and now we're both heading home with a great find. It's amazing to think about the journey of this table, from someone's home into mine, where it will get a second life. We've been searching for something just like this for what feels like forever, and finally, our effort has paid off. Yeah, I'm so glad we stumbled upon the seller who understood exactly what we were looking for. Looks like our patience really pays off in the end. Absolutely, good things come to those who wait and today proves it. By the time we get this table set up, it'll have been the best decision we made today. I'm already picturing where it'll be going in my apartment, this is such an exciting find. Agreed, it's like this table was just waiting for us to come along and give it a new home. I can't stop thinking about hosting friends around it, making memories that will last a lifetime.